Hello, my name is Cynthia Sargent. According to the journal Education Week, many young people's reliance on digital technology in their outside lives stand in sharp contrast to their limited use of it in school. The purpose of this webpage is to give information and share ideas on how to connect education with how young people use digital technology in their personal lives. The last few years have seen a dramatic change in the way young people use technology. Much of this change has occurred because of the move into the second generation of web-based communities where users can share and collaborate, unlike the initial use of internet, which was only to receive information. This new generation of internet use is called Web 2.0. Web 2.0 includes YouTube, wikis, podcasts, Facebook, and other tools such as PhotoStory to share ideas. These new uses of technologies have caused a dichotomy between traditional teaching methods and the way young people use technology. This disconnect is growing larger every day. This generation of young people is different from every other generation. They are better at multitasking, gathering, filtering, and sharing information. Traditional chalk and brush teaching techniques often make them feel impatient and bored. The use of Web 2.0 technologies in the classroom will go a long way in engaging students. This webpage is used to support educators to bridge a gap between traditional teaching practices and Web 2.0 technologies using best practices. The webpage provides links to educational journal articles, recommended reading, examples of Web 2.0 assignments, and links to download Web 2.0 programs. It's important to know that educators do not have to learn these technologies. Educators can create assignments that incorporate these technologies into assignments and class work. It's up to the students to learn on their own how to use the technologies. This process of learning is one of the most important aspects of the new paradigm.